Welcome to Analytica Video Shorts, short videos showcasing individual features in Analytica 5. Host today, Ben Falstrom. Ben here, and in this Analytica tutorial, I'll be showing you a new feature users have been asking for that's included with the version 5.3, editing node style defaults. So why should you care? Let's say you want to use a different set of node colors or styles throughout your whole model, but can't be bothered to spend the time to change the colors of all the individual nodes. With this new 5.3 feature, you can do just that in no time, just like this. To start, open up the model of your choice. For this demonstration, I'll be starting by using the Bond Finance model. Once loaded, click on the Outline Window button as shown. A new window will pop up. Hover down to System Libraries and click the arrowhead on the left to expand it. From here, scroll down until you see Node Style Defaults. Double click this to open a new window. You'll now see a new diagram window with all of the different types of nodes with their default colors. From this point on, I'll need to go into edit mode to make changes. Before we begin, right click on some empty space and select show slash hide color palette at the bottom. Let's say I want my nodes to be purple. Before, to do this I had to select all of the individual nodes from within the model and choose the color from the color palette. The problem is that if I had continued to do this and then decided I didn't like it, I'd have to change back all of these colors manually. Now, I can simply go to the Node Style Defaults window, select the node type I'd like to change, and select the new color. But wait, one of our decision nodes didn't change colors. That's because the node was explicitly set by the user. If we didn't like this, we could go back to the Node Style Defaults window and hit play on the button on the bottom right titled Reset All Nodes as Colors and Styles. This will revert all nodes in the model to whatever the global colors are currently set as. But wait, let's rewind. Suppose you set explicit node colors and wanted to keep it that way for some nodes while wanting to change it for other nodes. Let's find out how we can accomplish this. In this variant of the model, I've set two of the variable nodes as a light red. Other variable nodes in the model are light yellow, and my default is still the standard blue. If I decided that light red wasn't a good choice, I could go to the node style defaults window and select that color as the global variable node color, and then hit play on the other button on the bottom right titled Connect Model to Node Defaults. Now, when we change the global color, all of the nodes in the model that were of the same color will now change with it. This is a big time saver for large models. Not feeling creative? No problem. We've included a few new styles that you might prefer to the default. To use them, simply go to File, Add Library, while making sure you're still in edit mode. This will place you in the Libraries folder. From here, select the folder Node Styles, and then select and open one of the files inside. Now, as you can see, your model's colors have been updated. We've adapted modified versions of Virtus and Plasma from the open source Python community for colorblind Analytica users, so be sure to check them out if this is something you've been looking for. Have fun creating, and thanks for watching.